welcome to my vegan experiment. My name is Kat and today I wanted to give you a room tour of my new home here at Laka Lodge. So I'm staying in one of the bungalows which is a room also available for guests if they want to come visit the Laka Lodge resort. So come on in. So this is my room. This is my bed which is a double bed but it can actually be split into two uh, so people can have two bedrooms here. Uh, on the left hand side here this is where I have the alcohol I've been given as presents. Then here are my emergency medicines, as well as bamboo toothbrushes. Highly recommend you go check out bamboo toothbrushes as it's a great way to eliminate plastic from your life. Links down in the description below. So my suitcase is over here, uh, as well as a chest of drawers, and then a kind of um, thing, not sure how to call it. In terms of the bathroom, hello! This is my little bathroom. There's a cute little mirror. Then over here, we have the shower. Of course, we have hot water, which has been heated by solar energy, which is always great. And then over here is the little toilet. So yeah, just like a normal toilet. Here on this wall, I have my jackets, or all the things I'm kind of not wearing on a daily basis, apart from my cap, which is very important in terms of sun safe. On the back of my door, of course, uh, my shoes are hanging up because there are some centipedes around and I didn't want to get any centipedes in my shoes. Over here we have my laundry bin and of course all my laundry is in a guppy bag, which says stop micro waste. The Guppy Friend Bag is really great to get, and if you put it into the washing machine, it's actually going to catch all the plastic microfibers. Yes, indeed, I have a plastic water bottle here that is one of the ones we keep reusing after the customers oh, have drank it. While everyone is encouraged here to drink the filtered water, filtered water through the UV filter, eliminating plastic as much as possible, some people still choose to use the plastic bottles, and then we like to try and reuse them to just have some extra water in the room. Let's continue. This is my little working space, so I have the schedule for the next month. Pretty crazy stuff. My dive computer, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, and I got it as a present from a very special person. My room key, which is a cute little turtle made out of um, coconut, so it's been crafted by a local artisan, and these things are available for sale as well over here. Uh, so yeah, so that's the general tour of my room. Uh, if you're kind of curious what I have here or what I brought with me. So let's have a look. So in this top drawer, I got my electronics sleeping masks, uh, my GoPro, my active living diary, which I have been writing in every day since the new year. As I told you guys, that's one of my big uh, resolutions is to spend more time reflecting. So I've been doing that. Uh, my sunglasses dry bag and some chili because you know you might need chili the second drawer is dedicated to my tank tops and my shirts these are my t-shirts oh look at that product placement uh, if you want a cool shirt like this just go onto the website and uh, proceeds go to the plastic free fund to help clean the beaches here here are some dresses my underwear and socks and then this bottom one of course is my drawer of beloved bikinis and bottoms. So I have some long pants and skirts. Because this is a Muslim country, I do cover up if I go out into the public places. Uh, and then jeans and yoga pants. Ooh. Over here I have a couple spare towels as well as a... What's it called? Blanket in case it gets cold. On this side here it's all my no zero waste stuff, but I have my B12 spray, which is uh, very important if you're vegan. It's probably the only supplement you need to take. And then I have my Eco Cosmetics uh, Reef Friendly Sunscreen. So Reef Friendly Sunscreen is really important to have if you go diving because a lot of sunscreens have harmful chemicals which harm the ocean and kill the sunscreen. So make sure your sunscreen doesn't have any of these scary ingredients. I also have this just um, I'm finishing up a bottle of uh, mosquito repellent before I create my own 
mosquito repellent uh, from eucalyptus and things. There's a video for that as well. Down here I have my two books that I brought with me. Uh, this is one I just found um, at the UN at the free book exchange. So no touch monkey and other lessons to have learned before it was too late traveling. And then I have another book which my father gave me. Uh, but of course that's in check so you guys have no idea what this is. And then I have my e-reader. I haven't had time to even read yet, but in case anything happens, I have that. And down here is all my packaging and bags and things like that. So yeah, this uh, is basically all I have inside my room. So let's go look outside now. <laughs> so outside here is just a little terrace, which is quite cute. I have all my scuba diving gear uh, drying out there. My beautiful leader fins, which I'm absolutely obsessed. Although they're already getting scratched, which is breaking my heart, honestly. And then here I have my other fins, my scuba diving fins. But yeah, that's the tour of my room, and uh, that's kind of what this place looks like. It's not too bad, huh? little bungalow. So yeah, next week I'm going to be making a video about um, turtles and how we help to save a few turtles. So if you're curious about that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with my adventures here in the Comoros. I gotta go to lunch now, I'm extremely hungry, but I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!